Hey guys, I've been busy this week, sorry about that, so enjoy this quick explanation on vaccines and natural immunity. The other day I posted on Twitter that immunity from vaccination is better at preventing hospitalization rates than natural immunity. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, if you haven't. This news was recently published by the CDC, which you can find on their website if you want the full picture. Basically, people who have had a previous COVID infection and got it again had a 5.49 times more likelihood of being hospitalized than people who never experienced an infection but was vaccinated. The conclusion of the report is that even if you have been infected by COVID-19 in the past, you should still get vaccinated because it will boost your immunity better than what natural immunity provides. And that brings us to the point, why is it that vaccine-induced immunity is better than natural immunity? After all, what could possibly train your immune system better than the real deal? First of all, this is not always the case for every disease. Sometimes, depending on what we are looking at, natural immunity is better, and that's because vaccines are always going to work differently and have different effects depending on how they are created and what disease they're fighting against. But against SARS-CoV-2, the research is pretty clear. There are a couple of biological mechanisms that makes the vaccine better than natural immunity. Number one, a large proportion, up to a third of infections, don't build up significant antibodies even after infection. Although we can't give an exact explanation on why that is, it can be narrowed down to a few reasons such as a faulty immune response or the damage of the pathogen itself. Usually it just comes down to that we can't control what is infecting the body and how much of it there is, which is why sometimes it can be difficult to pinpoint why no antibodies are being produced. Number two, vaccines involve injecting known amounts of chemicals with an appropriate amount of adjuvants to get your immune system kicking. We know what we're putting in you and there are ingredients in the vaccine that helps in building an immune response appropriately. Number three, natural immunity often involves producing a wide variety of antibodies against the pathogen, unlike vaccinated immunity. For example, in natural immunity against SARS-CoV-2, the body could produce antibodies that attach to a bunch of different areas of the virus, which isn't bad, but also could be better. The virus has multiple other proteins too, such as the envelope or membrane, which the body almost equally recognizes. In fact, we've known since late 2020 that the body does not produce the most antibodies against the spike protein, but rather the nucleocapsid. Meanwhile, we know exactly what sequence we're training the immune system in when we vaccinate someone. In this case, our current vaccines only train the immune system on the spike protein, so it produces the most antibodies against the spike protein, which is the best at fighting COVID. Being able to control the best target location will almost always improve effectiveness. So there you have it. The takeaway here is that even if you've been infected by SARS-CoV-2 in the past, you should still get vaccinated so that you give your immune system all the weaponry it needs to fight off this virus.